Anybody else's dog just stare at them all day? Hi, welcome back. There's been something that's been bothering me a lot lately. It has been on my mind for quite a while now and it's the whole and it's what my dog eats like the shit that he eats looks disgusting and half of the time actually more than half of the time probably 80 percent of the time he doesn't want to eat it and i don't blame him it's just kibbles it's just dried food that's clumped together it's very sad if i was him and every single day i had to eat the same thing i would be depressed i would be so sad my life would be less vivid. One of the things that has been on my mind a lot is feeding Rupert more healthy and nutritious foods, but like whole foods. No more kibble. I've been wanting to switch off the kibble and learn how to make his food. What's held me back is that I feel like once you go down that path, once you go down that road, you can't turn back and just decide, eh, actually never mind, it takes too long to make your food and food prep for you. Uh, we're gonna go back to the kibble life. That would psychologically fuck with my dog and I love my dog so much. And now that he's six years old, I feel like, oh shit, you're not a baby anymore. You're not a little puppy. I love my dog so much that it's kind of embarrassing. I try not to talk about him too much because I don't wanna be that person. I love my dog, but I'm gonna keep it to myself as I make this video declaring my love for him. But aside from me thinking that it's very depressing that he has to eat the same food every day, another reason that I wanna to start to feed him whole foods is because he's gained a little bit of weight. I think mini poodles are supposed to weigh anywhere, I think from 15 to 18 pounds. Right now I think he's at 24 pounds. Granted, I think he's a little bit bigger than a typical mini poodle. He's a little bit taller, but he's just gotten a little, he's gotten a little chunky over quarantine. I did a little bit of research and I guess these kibbles have a ton of carbs. I found this holistic veterinarian that talks about, you know, giving them more protein, lean meats and less carbohydrates so that they can slim down, you know, be their best selves. So it's that component. And another thing is that he has a, I think it's a, I can't, ugh, I'm totally blanking on the name. It's like a lymphoma or Olympia. It's some weird thing, but it's totally normal and a lot of dogs get it, but it's just a growth. It's like a benign growth. And he has one on his chest that is getting bigger. And I learned that, you know, fixing his diet can help keep that growth under control. I don't want him to have like a third boob on his little chest, you know? I'm gonna research methods to make dog food, but this week I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and just get him some whole food so I can make him some breakfast and dinner. So today, that's the game plan. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and get him some food. And this week I'm going to start feeding him whole foods so that he can get his hot dog summer body ready. Empty <laughs> arms like you're in the mud. Shoulders down, chest open. Tighten your stomach. Yay, I'm, I'm excited. I will be back later. So I did not get the memo that Monday is like grocery shopping day because Trader Joe's was packed, was crazy. I will show you what I got for Rupert at Trader Joe's. Hold on. Time for a Trader Joe's haul dog edition. This is what I got Rupert at Trader Joe's. Let's start with the frozen food items first because a lazy bitch has got to have reserves in the freezer. So I don't plan to give him a ton of brown rice, but I will work some brown rice into his meals probably every other day. I don't know yet. Boop, boop. Some brown rice for the pepperino. I also got some frozen spinach. I feel like this will come in handy if I want to microwave it and then toss it into his food or make him a little dog stew. I like the chopped spinach because it's just, it's already chopped, ready to go. It's probably a better texture for him because he doesn't really like to eat real raw spinach because it's just awkward to eat. Next, I got organic peas. Um, I need to double check that dogs can eat peas. I'm almost positive that they can. I'm pretty sure that I've seen it in their food, but this is another thing that I can add into whatever meat I give him. So that's the frozen food stuff. Okay, next, you know I really love this dog when I get him chicken breasts, all natural, chicken boobies. Later today, I am going to boil these 
and shred them so I can have some meat on hand for him while I research how to make dog food because I don't know how to fucking make dog food. I feel like, is this what being a real human parent feels like? You feel like you're doing your best, but it just doesn't feel like it's enough. Is that what real parenthood feels like? Because that's a fucking terrible feeling and that, if that lasts for your whole life, that's, that scares me. Beautiful, we love it. We love lean meats for dogs so he can get his summer body. I also got shredded carrots. So he doesn't choke because he doesn't know how to chew his food. So shredded carrots just felt like a safe choice. Then I also got baby carrots. These I do not plan on giving to him raw because they're very hard. And again, I don't trust that he won't choke on one of these. These I will boil or steam. That way they are soft. More peas. These are just fresh peas. Cucumbers. Low calorie. Good for your chunky dog. I love to dice these up and just add them to his food or give it to him as a snack. Oh, protein bar for mom. That's for me. Which by the way, I have been obsessed with these protein bars. They have them at Trader Joe's. They're this brand called Bear Bells. <sighs> Tastes like a snicker. So that's it for the Trader Joe's haul of what I went and got him. I will be back later today. It's, right now it's too early to prep Rupert's food. So I'm gonna do it later tonight. I will show you guys what I make him for dinner. That's pretty much gonna be the blueprint of what I make him this week until I figure out how the heck to make dog food, like real dog food, you know? I'll be back for dinner. Dinner for Rupert, dinner for one. Dog, I'll see you later, okay, bye. is Rupert's food prep. Some boiled celery and carrots, the boiled chicken breast, some boiled peas, and then here I have some reserve chicken broth from the breast. This is what I'll be giving him for the week. My son was excited. I feel compelled to share this behind the scenes moment with you because as I was setting up to film this video, Rupert threw up on the fucking bed. Lord, give me the strength. That's what he did on the bed. That's like his preferred vomiting location right before filming. And I wanted to murder him. I felt like saying, fuck you and your whole foods. Why did you do this? But you know what? Patience. I also love him and forgive him. He deserves the world, even though he throws up on my bed. Yes, queen! Yes, baby, yes. See you guys in the next video. You're welcome.